So I think the wave of the 21st century is going to be materials that mimic your own body or our natural substances, things that we call biologics, and um, we call that regenerative medicine. We try to use your own body to help it heal itself. An example of that would be something called PRP. PRP has been around for a number of years, so we have a lot more research on PRP, but what PRP stands for is platelet-rich plasma. The platelets are those things that when you cut yourself, they form the scab, so they prevent you from bleeding to death. But what they also do is when they form that scab, they have growth factors in them, and they release those growth factors, which stimulate new blood vessels and cells to come into the area and help heal the area. So we know that these platelets have healing potential. We're able to take the patient's own blood and spin it down and isolate the platelets. So then we're able to take those platelets and using an ultrasound machine so that we can look directly at the area that's injured, inject those platelets back in where the body either needs to heal or hasn't been healing. Things like tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, tendonitis, muscle strains, all those things are candidates for PRP. In addition to PRP, we have other new ways to help the body heal itself and regenerate itself. One of those things is bone marrow aspirate. So the bone marrow is inside your bones and it looks kind of like a thicker form of blood and it has a lot of cells in it and some of these cells are called stem cells. Stem cells are cells that have not turned into any type of body tissue yet. So they have potential to heal areas of the body that are damaged or need regeneration. So for example, if we have an area of arthritis in the knee where the cartilage is wearing down and breaking down, if we can take some of these stem cells and inject it back into the knee, we can help the cartilage grow back. One way to think about it is that the stem cells are kind of like grass seed and the PRP is kind of like fertilizer. So let's say you have an area of your lawn that's, that's damaged and you put just grass seed on. The grass seed will usually grow and it'll take time, you'll have to water it, take care of it. But if you add fertilizer to it, it'll grow faster. Or if you just add fertilizer, it'll take longer to grow. So by adding the stem cells, which are kind of like the grass seed, and by adding the PRP, which is kind of like the fertilizer, we're able to speed up your own body's natural healing response. 